I just went for a jog down the mountain and back up the mountain, walked here and there, and all that I was wearing was these shorts, socks, and running shoes. These shorts, socks, and running shoes. And I had no shirt on. And <laughs> I didn't even bring my phone. And um, I checked my mail, there's no mail. And I made it back up the hill okay without having any pains or difficulty or anything like that. And I still have to feel like I have plenty of energy. So um, the thing that happened was I was near the, the, the bottom of the mountain and I was jogging and a young woman in her late 20s to early 30s drove past me in a newer car and she drove past me and I was like, okay, hi. And she drove away and I got my mail and I was going back up the mountain and she must have turned around and she, she turned around and started driving towards me again. And I was like, I got out of the way and I went into the, the grass a little bit and she had her window down and she said, <laughs> she looked like this movie star I've seen. Um, what, in the 2000s, like when she's young, she's like, she's that age now. And um, she said, what are you doing? She said, don't go in the grass, you'll get, po you, you might get poison ivy. I got a little tiny piece on, on my hand somewhere on the way, I think, somewhere on my hand. I figured out how to not really get as much poison ivy. You wash it off pretty quick. Anyway, I, I didn't really go in any poison ivy, and you don't stand it. You get away from it, stuff like that. But she said, you know, look out. So, and I was wearing these little shorts with my shirt off. And, um, so she said, um, so she said that, and I just started backing away. I was so afraid because I want I want to be with my wife again and kids if I'm still married to her. And, and I, I just kind of started jogging away. Hi, bye, bye, bye. And I left. And she drove away really slowly and eventually drove away. And I was afraid and I started going back down the mountain again because I didn't want to like fornicate. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I know she, she, she could tell that I was pretty good looking. Um, because I was confident when I went down, I was like, I'm going to make it down the mountain and back up and I'm not going to let some stupid depression or some nonsense, bad feeling get to me to, to, to where the stress of it would hurt my body. And I did it. I was very healthy. I can freaking run right now. You know, I feel healthy. I still have more energy left because I made it. I, I made it up and down the mountain. It's a mile and a half down, a mile and a half back or two miles, I think it's two miles to wherever my mailbox is, I'm not gonna say. And so I made it. Um, so that was it, she was, to most guys and single males, I'd say they find her very attractive, look like a movie star. Um, I'm trying to think of the movie star, who she looked like. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go, um, I know what movie star she looked almost just like. She looked almost exactly like this movie star from a Spike Jones movie. I'll show you a picture over here. I'll show you a picture over here. Okay, this is what she looked like. This is almost exactly, I saw her looking right at me and somebody like that for today. And that was like 15 years ago, 10 years ago, or eight years ago when that movie came out. And she's like that age now and looked pretty good. And I totally got away from her and was kind of scared, covered up my, my body. body. Yeah. Uh, I'm not trying to do it, but I was like, you know, I was still happy and confident about my appearance and stuff. And, um, you know, she, she, she liked the way that I look. She liked the way that I look, I think, but I'm not sure. 
and you know I couldn't do anything with it at all because I'm hoping to be back with Danica and my kids so I've unless I could have but you know I'm glad I'm going through this now because I don't want to fornicate I don't want to go after things like that I don't want to go after the wrong things so I've turned down any potential opportunity that could have been something um that could have been wow my face looks like really I got to get some water but I brushed my teeth when I got home and really flossed got my teeth as good as I could look how good they look really good teeth I brush them often many times a day I floss and I use mouthwash sometimes pretty much every day I use mouthwash brush my teeth and floss and I did that so my body may be a little bit dehydrated and need a bunch of water but I couldn't drink the water because you're supposed to leave the stuff on your teeth so it's like helps them be okay instead of washing it away and uh, now I'm gonna drink a bunch of water so that's it when opportunities have have arose like that there's another time in Los Angeles when these two beautiful to others, not beautiful to me, but physically beautiful. My wife, I think, is beautiful, or Danica's beautiful if we're still married. And these very attractive, like blonde, very young cheerleader types in their 20s, you know, daddy's princess, not not like Danica. Danica's a princess to me, and um, that's different. And there were two of them, and I had been jogging with abs and doing 500, more than 500 push-ups a day out there because I didn't have weights. So I did tons of push-ups. And I went out there on like a big street corner, it was like Hollywood and something, and there were thousands of people, like all the tourists. And I like went out there in the sun in front of all of them and it was like had abs and was really strong feeling. And then I went back there later that night and those two girls like must have seen me looking for me or something, and these women. And they, I, you know, they were like, had I pursued it, you know, maybe we would have turned into something, but maybe just having sex or something. And I was like, this feels wrong. This feels bad. So I went back to my hotel by myself. Didn't do anything that night. Besides had sang earlier to the street musician or to these people with a street musician that was playing music. I sang, I, I improvised singing. And um, then I went back to Texas. I missed my, I missed Danica and my kids. So I went to Texas. I went to Texas, I have a little mark right here on the side of my nose. It was like a little tiny something, so my nose looks a little, I don't know. And um, I cut my chest and uh, I'm shaving it. I shaved, my <laughs> I shaved my hair on my chest. Anyway, and then there was another time, this hippie guy who, no interest, I'm not gay, but this young hippie girl who was like, 26 or something like that with blonde long dreads you know to most men very attractive and another girl her friend that was with the other guy you know it was like they could have came back to my house and seen my cool house and it would have been something special and i would have told them leave you know no sex or anything like that but um i was worried that it would be fornication or sex or something like that so i told them to so i didn't say anything to them and instead they didn't get to see my cool house in a platonic way, which means no sex, friends only. And I was worried, you know, what would happen? Would they have marijuana or something like that? But this was when it wasn't legal or, or, or uh, you know, not marijuana, but like, you know, I didn't wanna. So instead I, I went home by myself and I've done this. I've turned down maybe 12 opportunities for things like that. There's a time when I went to the co-op two years ago this was all two years ago besides today. That was the funnest, happiest when some woman noticed me today. I haven't experienced that since 20, the summer of 2019, two days in the summer of 2019. That was pretty fun. I was just jogging like a little past my neighborhood and I noticed that. So I got to get a lot of water. I can tell my face is like not looking as good as it, as it could, but um, that's okay. I got to get some water to hydrate myself because it was really hot out there. It must have been 92 degrees or 80 some, 88 degree, 80 something degrees. It was really hot. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. 
Okay, bye. Click like in the video, subscribe. This is John Birmingham. This is John Birmingham. Okay, bye. Bye, Danica. I love you. Mwah. I I I love Rowan, Ivan, and Ayla too. Mwah. Okay, bye. Bye. Dear God and Jesus. Dear God and Jesus, please protect us from evil. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against others. And lead us not into temptation. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, God. Help us to follow you and believe in you and do your work on earth. Amen. Okay, bye everybody. Bye.